Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Lose the negative mentality. What's the negative mentality, ladies? It's that mentality that you can't find the love that you seek, the love and caring that you seek, because you feel like there's something wrong with you. Ladies, ladies, ladies. First of all, there's a lot that you can fix up about yourselves. Okay? There's a lot you that you can you can work out. Just like I tell men to hit the gym, y'all can hit the gym too. Y'all can fix y'all head. Indeed, there's whole industries. There's more industries, whole entire industries, you know, collectively probably a trillion dollars to help y'all out. So you can always fix yourself up. But see, you get some women, too many women, they feel like, well, I'm not going to get these men. I'm too dark, particularly in the black community, particularly in the black community. But you also have some in the white community. There's like a lot of women feeling like, well, I'm a little overweight. A lot of white women, I'm a little overweight. Or uh, I don't have blonde hair, which incidentally only a tiny uh, percentage of women actually have naturally blonde hair. And I've seen, I've seen so many, so many women in so many different communities so finding something physical about themselves. Oh, my nose too big. Oh, my nose too small. My ears are out. Oh, I got this blemish here. Oh, my breast assists aren't as big as I would like them to be. Or oh, mine are too big. You know, I got this big old, got these big old thighs. Let me say something real quick about those thighs. And this was with my co-parent, right? <laughs> this is with my co-parent. She wondered for years why she had thighs. And let's just say when I first saw the thighs, I lost my mind. <laughs> Got two sons out of it. So <laughs> you never know. And that man, and I, and I share that. The reason I share that is you never know what it is about you that really attracts the, the right man. You know, you can't, you got to love yourself. You got to love yourself, which you can't change about yourself. And then the stuff you can change, okay, work on it then. Seriously, you can, you can work on your body. You can work on your weight. And you know what? You can work on your teeth just like shoe. You can you can keep yourself up. You got control over it. And for the stuff you can't necessarily uh, deal with other than outside of plastic surgery, like your nose, I don't know, size of your lips, uh, shape of your eyes, something like that, it's there. Somebody likes it. Somebody, somebody likes it. You know what? I remember I dealt with this uh, Korean young lady one time, and... Uh, she used to wear blue contacts. And I just told her straight up, I was like, uh, you got pretty eyes. Why do you keep wearing these contacts? And I know when, as long as she was dealing with me, she stopped wearing the contacts because I, I told her she didn't need it. Her eyes were like gorgeous without those contacts. See, one of the things is with people, and this is regardless of race, this is women regardless of race, they feel like whatever they got is not good enough. And see, part of that is we live in a culture that uh, promotes a certain look as the ideal look. You know, you have to look like this particular ideal, you know? It depend, and, you know, and part of that is how some businesses make money. That's how they make their money. See, if you feel like you got to have, like, a certain color hair or... Uh, straighter hair, something like that, or you got to have a certain eye color or even a certain body build. When that's promoted to you, that's a problem. That's a problem. You know, you have to, what I would always tell, I would tell any person, but especially y'all ladies, whatever you got, somebody likes it. Like I say, yeah, you still want to hit the gym. You still want to stay in uh, shape. But I'm going to tell you something I said in my uh, book I have for ladies, finding, finding the Right Man. I said, you know, you get some men, yeah, they want you to be that size too. But some other men, they're like, oh, no, I want some meat on my gal. You know, they want you size 12. They want you shapely, sure. But and the thing is, when you your ideal shape, on a deep level, you draw a man who's going to be totally, literally magnetized by you. 
He'll go into a mild trance when he see you. Like I said with my co-parent, when I saw the thighs, I was like, good Lord. Hey. <laughs> and she wonder, she she said she wasn't even boasting of a life while she had those thighs. I was like, it was to draw my attention. It still keeps my attention, but we won't go there. So, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the way you got to be. You can't, you can't have that negative mentality. You got to love yourself, ladies. Like, seriously, don't compare yourself to some image that's placed up in uh, on Wall Street or, you know, in the movies or something. Like I said, somebody's got to make money from it. Somebody has got to make money from it because they'll sell you the products that say, hey, this is how you should look. They'll sell you the products for it. But if you say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to be the best I can be. Like I said, and, and like and, you know, you got to say, okay, if you naturally petite, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with it. The guys who going to like that going to come. If you like more full figured or something, or you you know, the guys going to like it. If you got if your uh dominant physical feature is your breast sisters, guarantee there's some guys they they want to they want to get with you. They'll take shoot, they'll take an hour on each. Or you know, you got that big round butt done. Well, you know, send Rama a picture, y'all. My contact information is in the description box. But if you want to, if you got that, that's what you're going to attract. If you tall and slim, somebody likes it. If you short and healthier or uh, more voluptuous, there's somebody who likes that. And as far as your face, uh, look, that's your face. You know, somebody likes the shape of your nose. Somebody doesn't. Let's be real. Somebody doesn't. Somebody doesn't like different things. Okay. Leave them for, tell them to go to the people they like. Leave leave you alone for who likes it. So it's like whatever your lips are, whatever your lips, whatever, whatever your natural hair color is, there's somebody who likes it. That's all you have to do, ladies. You want to be the best version of yourself. You're built for that, all right? You got to lose that negative mentality, you know? You got to lose it. And like I said, yeah, there's going to be some parts you can fix up. Okay, fix that up. But then love which it was there naturally, Trust me on it, ladies, seriously. I'm seeing too many now. I know there's some guys out here be trying to tell you some other stuff. Okay. All right. You listen to them or... I, okay, let's put it like this, ladies. Just try. That's all I say. Just try. Just try. See what happens, okay? Try for, try for a few months and just see the difference, okay? Six months. Give me six months, all right? I'm serious. So anyway, ladies, that's all I have for now. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.